what we got. Nobody there? Nobody there. Here we go. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Millie Life. My name is Danielle, and I run the Millie Life YouTube channel. I post new motorcycle videos every Wednesday and new exercise tutorials every Friday. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to click on that link in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, little red button. I'll give you three seconds now before we roll into this video. Three, two, one, and we are rolling in. Today is New Year's Eve, so happy belated New Year's Eve by the time I post this. It's 60 degrees, sunny, and beautiful out. Fun fact, it snowed eight inches four days later and another two or three inches a week later. Today, I am going to be installing my new Flow Motorsport Jet Fuel Foot Peg. These are made specifically for my bike, Lowrider S and Dyna style. These I received as a Christmas present from my wonderful boyfriend. <laughs> they were going to be my first addition to the bike once the 2022 riding season began, but he had other plans. So I'm super excited to get this on the bike. It'll be cool to see what it feels like to ride with full support for my foot, as well as to see what the jet fuel design does for the overall look of my bike, which if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with that jet fuel color. Um, I already have my shifter peg from Flow Motorsports in jet fuel, and I'm obsessed. Please make more parts in jet fuel, dear Flow Motorsports. So today is New Year's Eve. I'm going to ride home, show you guys how to take off the stock foot pegs on a Harley Davidson Fat Bob, and then how to install the Flow Motorsport foot pegs on this bike. I'll show you the before and after, all the cursing and no guarantee that I will get these on. Mechanical work is not my forte, but I am learning every day. Probably need to change the oil. I was not expecting to be riding my bike this far into 2021. So I've ridden about 4,000 miles since I got her in September of this year, and it's definitely time for an oil change for sure. Uh, but anyways, tonight is New Year's Eve. We are making crab legs and steak, and we got these masks from Home Goods. This wasn't planned. <laughs> I was originally looking for like Happy New Year hats or headbands or something, and all the New Year stuff was sold out as of the 30th, which makes sense. So we, me and Mateo went to Home Goods, and I found these little uh, masquerade masks that you can paint the feathers and all sorts of other stuff. So I figured that would be fun. We painted them with child-friendly paint yesterday, which is good. And I'm not sure if they dried yet. I'm not sure if that was my turn or not. Probably should have waited. Anyways, so we're going to be making those tonight, having dinner. Not sure if I'll let the, my three-year-old stay up till midnight or do an early countdown. Any of you moms out there with toddlers or just kids in general know how much lack of sleep and being off the schedule really can mess with uh, their overall mood the next day. And I guess that goes for all humans. We haven't been getting a ton of sleep with Mateo. He's been waking up in the middle of the night and wanting me to come sleep with him um, or to get in our bed. And, we're trying to, to not do that, but he's, uh, he's pretty persistent. So, let's see, last Wednesday night? Last night I got a full night of sleep. Matt didn't because he was there, was turning, but he didn't wake up, so that was good. 
uh, the night before, he woke up at like 12.45 and was calling for me. And, you know, we tell him every five minutes or ten minutes or so, you know, mom is right here. It's like, time to go night-night. We love you. And um, figured he'd eventually tire out and go to sleep. But holy hell, talk about willpower. He did that for two hours and finally just had him climb into bed. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to mess with the sleep tonight for midnight. But leave in the comments below what you guys um, did for New Year's Eve. And then what was your favorite customization to your bike, if any, that you did during the 2021 season? Or if you haven't customized your bike, what would, what do you want to do in 2022? Or are you the favorite person to just leave it stop? You know? I definitely have caught customization bug. That was not a great question, but hey, I really like their bikes. How they are. So this should be exciting. Exciting day of jet fuel. So back up. Oh, geez. At least I use their blinker, but that was very aggressive. Lane <laughs> day. Gotta get the wall off. Gotta go. So we are in the home stretch. I am so excited for you guys to come along for the ride to check out this installation of the foot peg. We're going to pull in, get the tools set up, do some before and after footage of the foot peg so you can see what the stock looks like versus the new one. I am so excited. I also got a new microphone. Uh, thank the Lord for Christmas from that too. <laughs> great, great Christmas. And I'm excited to get that going too in my audio, thank the Lord. But we're going to get rolling here, so stay tuned because it's about to get fun. The tail will help too. He likes to clean the bike. All right, here we are. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Don't want to pull into a parking spot head first. Because it is impossible to get out. <laughs> yes. I like, as soon as, as soon as I did it, I was like, fuck. You're the best. Thank you. It was awesome. All right, let's All right, so as promised, we're gonna be doing the Flow Motorsports foot peg installation. We've got these to remove the ring. Uh, I always forget what that's called. They're the worst things ever. U-ring, L-ring, I don't know. This guy right here. There, that guy's gonna come off. And over here, we've got uh, the clevis. Hey guys! <laughs> the boys are out riding. Um, so we've got clevises for street bob or low rider, soft tail. Um, and then the Flow Motorsports jet fuel pigs. I don't even see any holes, honestly. Alright, maybe I'll just use the good old fingers. That doesn't make any sense. On the Harley Davidson Fat Bob, um, which is my bike, um, it doesn't have the little holes for this guy to go in, so you have to get it into the gap. So let's try that out. You went fast? Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi, Baba. Hi, love. You went fast. You went fast? Yeah, we went fast. We went that way. We went down that way and then all the way around the neighborhood. Didn't we? We honked at people too. You did it. Yeah, and waved. I said it. Yeah, we were parking. He goes, no, no, T, don't park. Don't Will park. Will you guys help me? Yeah, uh, should we help? Let's mama put her new pegs on. I don't know how to do We got to get the tool. Oh, this one looks a lot looser. I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe I can use the blue on mm -hmm. this one. Or how did you do it? Just Stick in here? it in there and then twist the wrench. There you go, like that, and then twist it up the other way. They're still towards me? Yep. 
There it goes. It's coming. There you go. Good job. Got it. So we're going to pull that guy out. Hold on, baby. Can you pull this out? Here, come here. Piece goes up towards your bike, and this flat piece goes down towards the ground. Okay, wait for tea, okay? So we're putting the spring back in. There we go. Oh, there we go. A little bit in. I'm just gonna line up the bottom. Dream team over here. We got the new <laughs> clavis on, and now what are we gonna put on Mateo? The D. Yeah. D. Thank you. We got a size six Allen wrench metric. All right, so we're just gonna go in here and remove that. So we've taken the screw out with our hex wrench or Allen wrench. All right, we're gonna come over here. Put this beautiful thing on. The thing about these foot pegs is that you can adjust them 360 degrees, right? So if I wanna go all the way up here and then be reaching for the brake pedal, I can all the way down here I can. For me, I'm probably gonna be right in here, all right? So the first side is done and it looks sick. So we're gonna move on to the next. Hopefully we can get done before dark. Sick. Ah, nice little Flow Motorsport logo on the back. And from the front, love it. are on and we beat the sun going down i'm gonna take the bike out see how they feel <laughs> get her back to storage thank you so much for tuning in if you have not yet subscribed make sure to click on that subscribe button in the bottom <laughs> right hand corner of my screen there are my boys on the motorcycle honking and waving till next time guys see you soon